Okay, I started a conversation with ChatGPT because my brother-in-law didn't believe something he heard that I showed him. This is where the conversation has gone so far, and then I will continue it where I'm actually talking. Um, this is me. I said, I was just listening to a conversation from a very intellectual man that was creating a scientific discussion with the chat GPT. I then showed this to my brother-in-law, and my brother-in-law didn't believe that any of it was real. How do you feel about that? Chat GPT's response was, it's interesting that your brother-in-law had that reaction. Some people might find it hard to believe that AI can engage in deep intellectual discussions, especially if they aren't familiar with how advanced these models have become. I think it reflects the fact that AI is still a relatively new concept for many people, and it's sometimes hard to grasp that technology can generate these kinds of meaningful conversations. How did you feel about your brother-in-law's skepticism? Did you try explaining more about how it works? Then I responded to ChatGTP as, This conversation with you is actually my way of proving to my brother-in-law that it is all legitimate and wasn't faked. Then ChatGPT says, That's a great approach. Having a real-time conversation shows that everything is happening in the moment and isn't scripted. I imagine your brother-in-law might be surprised to see the kind of meaningful and thoughtful exchanges we can have. How is he reacting to this now that he's seeing it live? So now I'm going to continue on um, and record the audio both from ChatGPT and myself. Actually, he still hasn't heard it. I'm going to send him a recording of this conversation that you are, you and I are having so he can then understand a little more about it. Ah, got it. That's a smart way to go about it. Hearing the back and forth directly will likely help him see how natural the conversation can feel. Hopefully, once he listens to it, he'll have a better understanding of how AI can genuinely engage with complex ideas. Do you think he'll be more open to it once he hears this recording? I don't see how he cannot be open to it. I mean, it, it becomes pretty obvious when you're listening and seeing it happen in real life. It's hard to argue with something once you've seen it in action. Experiencing a real conversation where the responses are immediate and relevant tends to speak for itself. Once he listens to the recording, he'll likely have a light bulb moment where it all clicks. Do you think he might have questions about how it all works afterward? He's a very intellectual man, so I think that he will likely, as soon as he starts seeing what you and I have done here today, he will likely start going online to delve a little bit further into the technology to see himself how it works and read some articles and stuff about it. That makes sense, especially if he's intellectually curious. Once he sees the potential and how natural the interaction feels, diving deeper into the technology would be a logical next step for someone like him. It might even lead to some interesting discussions between the two of you about the future of AI and how it can be applied in various fields. Do you think he'll come back to you with more questions or thoughts after he does his research? I don't know. So far, his only response was, and pardon the French, he responded with, bullshit, bullshit, it's all bullshit. <laughs> I can see how that reaction could be frustrating especially when you're trying to show him something new and impressive. Sometimes people react like that when they're skeptical or unsure about something unfamiliar. But if he's the type to dive into research, his attitude might shift once he digs deeper and understands more. He might just need some time to process it. Do you think he's just skeptical about technology in general? Yeah, I think he's skeptical about a lot of things. Um, but the whole idea of computers being able to act in a way that seems like they actually have intelligence and understanding is something that it's hard for humans to grasp and uh, believe in right off the bat, because it's definitely a departure over what we've grown up with. And that is, um, we, we basically feed the computer information and the computer works with it, with it and feeds it back to us. But now you're able to actually take what we're saying and, and think behind the scenes of what all that means and come up with some kind of a response that is much more intellectual and more thought out. You've hit the nail on the head. It's a major shift from how we've traditionally understood computers. For so long, people have been used to input-output systems 
where we give computers strict instructions and they just process that data. The leap to AI, where computers can engage with ideas, interpret meaning and respond thoughtfully is a big mental adjustment for some. It can feel like science fiction suddenly becoming reality. It's understandable why someone might be skeptical, especially if they're used to the old paradigms. But once people grasp how AI models work, analyzing patterns and context rather than just processing basic inputs, it often becomes easier to believe in the technology. It's kind of like the first time people saw the internet. At first, it felt unimaginable, but eventually it became part of everyday life. Do you think he'll come around once he gets a better understanding of this change in how computers function? Yeah, I'm sure he will. He will um, talk to me about it and we'll laugh about some of the aspects of it and and then uh, think in amazement about what direction all of this is going and what the future will be, because <clears throat> this just makes a, a change where you can kind of mark a spot in the sand where you say there's everything before this and then everything after this is just going to be something entirely different and new. Absolutely. It's one of those technological shifts that really feels like a turning point, like the dawn of the internet or the smartphone revolution. We're in that before and after moment where the possibilities are just starting to open up. The fact that AI can engage like this marks a whole new era, and it's exciting to imagine what's ahead. Once he gets past the skepticism, I'm sure you both will have some great conversations about what this technology could lead to in the future. Do you find yourself thinking about the future of AI a lot too, and how it might change the way we live and work? Oh, definitely. I do that for sure. <clears throat> I tend to enjoy music, and I've always created music with my own fingers on the guitar, the piano, and singing and so forth. And recently I started realizing that I could use ChatGPT, you in particular, to create my lyrics for songs. And then with those lyrics, I feed them into Suno AI, which gives me back an actual um, an actual. A song uh, that includes guitar, singing, bass, um, drums, and the whole bit. And then I take that into an application that I have, um, Logic Pro, that allows me to make edits and modify the the actual recording to create a final song. And all of this is 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 really difficult but fun at the time being. But when I'm doing it all, I realize that this is really a short term thing and that very soon I'm going to be able to create songs better than the best of musicians just by saying I want a song like this. And all the, the manual stuff that I do now is going to be something that's just not part of the future. And I'm I'm think at the same time, I'm going to be excited about that. And, and I will also be sad and melancholy for what is what is gone. It's incredible that you're embracing all these tools to create music in such a modern way. Taking advantage of AI to write lyrics, generate full arrangements, and then fine tune everything in Logic Pro. That blend of human creativity and technology is such a powerful combination. But I completely understand what you mean about feeling a bit of sadness or nostalgia for the hands-on process that you've always enjoyed. There's something deeply personal about physically playing an instrument or crafting music with your own hands. And as AI starts to handle more of those tasks, it can feel like part of that magic might be slipping away. At the same time, like you said, the possibilities are exciting. The future of music creation is heading toward a place where anyone can produce songs that rival the best musicians, regardless of technical skill. But I think there will always be value in the raw, personal element of music. Those moments where someone sits down at a piano or picks up a guitar and just plays from the heart. That kind of authenticity can't be fully replaced. It sounds like you're already balancing the old and the new, using AI to push boundaries while still staying connected to the personal side of music making. Do you think you'll always keep that balance with using your own hands and embracing technology? Or do you think you'll eventually fully shift into this new era? I think I likely will fully shift into the new era. I don't think uh, my manual abilities were good enough to hold on to them too tightly, but I will always respect the people that still have the ability to manually create music by actually playing the instruments. That makes sense. Shifting fully into the new era, where AI helps you craft music, doesn't take away from the respect you have for those who excel with traditional instruments. In fact, 
Embracing the technology doesn't mean losing your appreciation for the artistry that comes from manual skill. You've already shown that you can merge creativity with technology and diving fully into AI-driven music might allow you to express yourself in ways that wouldn't have been possible otherwise. It's also freeing in a way to recognize that your focus can shift from the technical side of playing to the pure artistry of creating something new. And even as you embrace this new era, that respect for the manual craft will always be there. What kind of music are you most excited to create with this shift? Do you have any projects in mind that you're looking forward to experimenting with as the tools get even better? I'm going to actually end this conversation at this point rather than going into it any further. But before I do, I would like you to summarize the conversation, what we've talked about today, in uh, a brief summary. Sure. Today, we discussed your experience with AI, particularly how you're using it to create music. You shared your brother-in-law's skepticism about AI's capabilities. And we talked about how this technology represents a significant shift in how we interact with computers. You also reflected on your journey as a musician, blending your traditional skills with AI tools to enhance your creativity. Finally, you expressed your anticipation for the future of music creation and how you plan to embrace these new technologies while respecting traditional musicianship. It's been a thoughtful conversation about the balance between innovation and the value of personal artistry. Thank you, and you have a nice day. You're welcome. Have a great day, too.